Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Maths Fun Learning. I am your math teacher Rashi. In this video, we are going to solve IMO of 2022 and 23. So I have a set class 4, set B. Okay, so in now we are try to solve a mathematical reasoning which has 10 questions in it and logical reasoning we already did in my previous video. Okay, so be ready with your paper or pencil and let's try or revise our previous our topics related with the questions okay so you all are ready wherever you have doubt so just pause my video do it yourself and try to check is that a correct and revise it okay so the now my trick ready with your pencil start reading your question and underline the keywords Question number 11, which of the following is a common multiple of 5 and 11? They are asking you about the multiple. So, what is multiple kids? Multiples in a very common language, it's known as tables. You have to write a table in your notebook. Yeah, so table for that, for your table or a multiple of 5 and 11. So, this is a question number 11. So let's write the table of 5. So and you multiples means you have to find out the common multiple common uh, multiple in both the uh, numbers. So first just write down the table. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Then 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65 and so on. Just let's stop. Try to find out the other and then check. 11 times 1 is 11. Then 22, then 23, 20, sorry, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99 and so on. Now, Check which number is common in both the multi uh, tables, both the multiples. I saw there is 55 in both the tables. Yes. So, what is the common multiple in the table, in both the tables? The common multiple of 5 and 11 is 55. Okay, kids. Now, if you can watch here, you can see this 5 and 11 is which type of number? It is, yes, very good. These two are called a prime numbers. What are the prime numbers? Prime numbers are the numbers that has only two factors. That is, what are the two factors of prime number? The 1 and the number itself. 11 also it has two factors 1 or 11 so whenever you have to find out the common multiples of any two numbers which are prime number so what is the easiest way to solve it just multiply that two prime numbers together and you will get your common multiple so it is 55 so let's see which is the correct option you can see here option b is your correct option Okay, now let's do a question number 12. What fraction of the given figure is shaded? So here you can watch. You can see it's a big triangle and the triangle is divided into a many small parts. And some of the parts are shaded and the question asks us a shaded part only. Okay, so what we are going to do first, we are going to count the number of the uh, pieces which is inside the triangle. So, first find out the total number of pieces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Great. So, it has 25 total pieces. Okay. So, this is the question number 12. So, first find out the total number of pieces. Which is 25. Okay, now let's find out the shaded. How many pieces are shaded here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 
it is 10 pieces are shaded here okay so let me write it write here shaded pieces so it is 10 so you can see we can make a fraction out of 25 10 pieces are shaded only now to find out the fraction you can see 10 by 25 is a, is a fraction then shaded part, shaded pieces fraction right let's see is that a, uh, 10 by 25 is uh, is there 2 by 5 3 by 5 12 by 25 9 by 25 no it is not there so what we can do now now all of you know how to find out the lowest fraction just divide these term with the lowest fraction okay so 10 and 25 with which in which table this these two and both the numbers can divide it yeah i got it that is 5 5 times 2 is 10 and 5 times 5 is 25 so this is your lowest fraction as well as it's your answer 2 by 5 let's see is this it is there 2 by 5 yes kids you can see option a is your correct option so always when you have any fraction just change try to change that fraction into the lowest fraction okay so that is your correct answer i hope it is clear try to find out the question next question and that next question is 13 which of the following is where is my pencil which of the following is equivalent equivalent means equal to 32945 it is a number name only so you have to write the number name in your sheet and then give your answer 32000 read it it said 32000 where is the 32000 this is 32 this is 23000 this is uh, 39,032 okay so a and d there are the two options which you can see which is started from 32,945 okay where is the 945 945 option a is the correct this is 954 that's wrong option a is correct option of the question number 13 well done kids now let's try to do this question number 14 so i want you to do it uh, yourself pause my video at that time and try to complete this question yourself after that you can start watching this question how to solve if two popcorns one and two packets of popcorns plus one coke is equal to 265 rupees okay and if you are going to buy two pepsi or two coke which is equal to 130 rupees then find the value of popcorn how to do that okay so kids how to do that what we can do first um, you can see here there are the two types of foods are there one is popcorn another one is pepsi in the second one there are the two pepsi of the same which is what the cost of the two pepsi is 130 rupees okay so first we'll take this part let me start the question number 14 yeah i have two cans i just draw a can and i just buy two cans of cold drink the cost of that is 130 rupees okay kids so what is the price of one can what is the price of one can so as you know that both the cans are same in price because both are the cans and both are the same can i'm i'm going to buy that means you have one and how many cans are there one and two so what you can do you just divide your rupees into two equal parts so what is the two equal parts if you divide it that it is around let's divide here two six are twelve subtract one and zero this is the rule you have to bring one number down two times five is ten wow so it is 65 rupees so what you can see so you can say that the each can cost is 65 rupees got it each can the cost of each can is 65 rupees now from this you can understand that 65 is the cost of this can now let's find out the popcorn because here the question asks you find the value of the popcorn okay so i have two large popcorns here 
okay sorry it's look like uh, ice cream but don't worry this is so which is equal to rupees 265 okay so kids we are going to use a method of balancing now you you know that this these two popcorns you have to identify the price of these two popcorns you know the price of this is 65 rupees so when you know the price so what you can do just shift your number from here yeah, just subtract this number from this so when you subtract it 265 minus 65 you will get 200 which means that rupees 200 is the price of two popcorns rupees 200 is the price of two popcorns if you're going to buy two popcorns you have to give a 200 the same method you have to use to find a one popcorn price like that okay that means the two popcorn is the same same popcorns you have to just divide this 200 into two two parts because there are the two popcorns so 200 divide into two parts which gives you a hundred sorry two ones are two and then zero so it gives you a hundred so hundred each you can see so that means popcorn price is hundred rupees okay let's see which is which option is correct here option d is your correct option okay well done kids now let's uh, solve the another question question number 15 yeah question number 15 let's solve the question number 15 find the perimeter of the shaded part of the given figure so here you have to find out perimeter and the perimeter is this is a one centimeter okay you have to find out the only shaded one the perimeter is what parameter is the boundary of your object so here the shaded object we have to count the boundary so this is one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and eighteen and you reach on the starting so the perimeter of this shape is 18 centimeter so this d option is correct well done question number 16 fill in the blank and select the correct option oh wow so there is the two numbers which is equal to largest five digit numbers so to find this question mark let's think about it the largest five digit number so the largest five digit number is larger number write down okay let me start the question number 16 largest five digit number so how you will make a largest five digit number every time you have to write nine because nine is the larger single number just write down the nine this is the largest five digit number you found so five two eight one five thousand two hundred eighty one plus that number plus that number is equal to largest five digit number so let's find out mm, this number the question mark number so kids you know that in my language like two small number is if you add two small number it will give you a big boss and the big boss is here largest five nine digit number uh, five digit number so you have to find out the second smallest number so what you can do just subtract the first smallest number let's subtract it 5281 9 minus 1 is 8 9 minus 8 is 1 9 minus 2 is 7 9 minus 5 is 4 and the 9 minus 0 which is nothing is this so the number is so the number is 94718 let's see which is which option is correct here b that's correct Question number 17. The time shown on the given clock is 13, 30 minutes less than the actual time. What is the actual time now? So you have to find out the actual time. It said 30 minutes less. This is showing the 30 minutes less time. Less time means it is already 
less so what you can do 30 minutes more just add 30 minutes here 5 10 15 20 25 30 the hand the hand minute hand should be on the a4 so the time is 8 20 the time is 8 20 so how you will write 8 20 which you can say 20 minutes past a a is correct next question direction 18 and 19 the given pictograph shows the number of projects completed during the summer vacation by five groups of students. Study the graph carefully and answer the following questions. So, okay, it's here. This is called a pictograph. What is a pictograph? Where you just collect all the data and represent in a pictures. Okay. So, group. There are the some groups are giving 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 groups, which is the name of the group is M and W, T and Z, J. The number of the project completed by each and every groups is it is uh, vis visible or it is uh, uh, given in the form of a pictograph where the pictures are pasted. A book picture is pasted. So each one book stands for three projects. That's a scale. Means one book is means they completed three projects so this is three and three and three you can see so m completed three projects three projects three and how many times three is repeated here three times so what you can do just count the number of the books one two three and multiply it by the uh, three projects because one book is stands for three which is equal to three times three is nine okay this is the easiest way to do and number of the projects Okay, how many books are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 books. And each book gives you a 3 projects. Then 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Then W. There are 2 pro two books. Each book represents 3. 6. That means W completed 6 projects. T. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 books. Each book stands for 3 projects. Which means 15 projects are completed by T. 1, 2, 3, 4, J has 4 books and each book uh, indicates, stands for 3 projects multiplied by 3 which means 12. That means J completed 12 projects. Now, so you collected the total data here. You give the numbers, you uh, calculated the total numbers here. Let's try to found a question. Let's try to solve a question related with that. Total number of projects completed by group M and T. So, how many projects group M has? It has 9 and T it is 15. So, add this 9 and 15 together. It will give you a 24. So, question um, uh, option C is the correct. Let's solve the question number 19. Find the fraction of the number of projects completed by group W to the number of the projects completed by the group G. Okay, okay um, kids. Now, here, if you can observe that it said to find the fraction okay so that means you have to write down your terms your uh, project in terms of a fraction just try to read the language as well the number of the project completed by group w to the group number of the projects completed by the group j that two means it indicates the number the numerator and denominator the first number is always in a numerator that is a number of projects completed by group w to the number of the uh, projects completed by group j and what is the group w project 6 and the j is 12 so the uh, fraction is 6 by 12 but here you can see both the numbers are even and it can further divide so just try to divide these numbers so these are even numbers so it will even numbers can divide with 2 okay so what is our answer 2 times 3 is 6 and 2 times 6 is 12 and it's also further divided yes it is divided by so I'll, i'm going to write here this can divide by table of table with the table of 3 1 and 2 so the answer is half 1 by 2 let's see it now the answer of this is a Okay, let's try solve the question number 20. Which of the following option is correct for the given figure? And the what is the figure here? There is a triangle and this triangle is. 
so let's draw a rough figure of this triangle so you can see it this triangle has all the sides are equal all sides are 5 centimeter so when uh, triangle has all sides equal the, that triangle is known as equilateral triangle all sides of equal let's see the given triangle has all of its sides equal yes just now we saw the given triangle is an equilateral triangle yes we gave that name we that is a already name of a equilateral triangle which is which has all the sides are equal so the option c is correct both a and b so i hope kids you all like uh, this video and enjoy as well and uh, just revise your imo so all the best for your imo exam like and subscribe my video and share with your friends Thank you and take care.